Hello and welcome back people of Earth to another tutorial. This time we're going to be taking a look at how to do a sine wave bass drop in Logic Pro 10. Now I'm hopefully going to show you three ways to do this. First thing we're going to start off is we're going to open Alchemy. All right. We've got the stereo out as an EQ just to see visually what we're doing here. But first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the source, change it to a sine wave instead of a sawtooth. And then we're going to send the tune knob out to the first LFO. All right. Now we're going to change the LFO to a ramp down, which is a sawtooth wave. All right. And this way, it's not what we want. It's far too fast and high and whatever. So we're going to change the rate down to either two bars or four bars, whatever you think sounds best. And this is to your discretion, wherever you want to start the note however you want to use this creatively, but um, the way I find sounds best and works best in most cases is you want to do that and then you want to change the tune knob down to either 24 which is two octaves or all the way down to 48 which is four octaves and then you can go like this. All right now if you leave that it will repeat but generally you let go of the note before it repeats right. So that's the first way we're going to do this. Second way we're going to do this is we are going to open the EXS24, without any samples loaded into it, it uses a sine wave. So what we're going to want to do, since we only want one note, is we're going to change it to legato. And then we're going to bring the pitch, sorry, the glide note knob all the way up. And then we're going to start at one note, and then go to a second note quickly right after. Alright, pretty simple. And that's that. Now the third way is a plugin that's not included in Logic, however, it is free and it's really easy to use and it's a great plugin, it sounds amazing, and it is the Magical 8-Bit Plug by YMCK. Um, if I can find it, I'll link you to the website, but it's not too hard to find and I might forget. Anyway, so we're going to want to change the oscillator kind to a triangle wave. We're going to want to change the sweep switch to negative so that it goes down, obviously. And this one is automatically just one note at a no, sorry, my bad, it's not, but it doesn't matter in this case. So and then what I like to do, you could just leave it at that. And that definitely has some creative creative uses, but what I like to do is I like to give it some overdrive distortion. Alright, so go into that. Turn the tone all the way down, the drive all the way up, and then turn the level compensation on. All right, you can start at any note you like. Generally, you want to start all of these at either the last note you played in the bass or in the root note of the song, depending on the song and what you're doing with it, right? But that's basically it. Like if you learned something, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will get you in the next video, maybe, probably, kind of.